Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fiki News. Today I bring you a super special announcement that the Patreon server for Vanilla is getting a map reset. So we are going to be starting fresh today, right after this video. I'm going to be live on twitch.tv slash FikiBreaker. And if you're wondering how you get access to said server, you go into the description of my videos and you find the link for Patreon. And you go to patreon.com slash FikiBreaker and over there you can pledge five dollars or more to get access to this server, which is really cool. So if you want to do that, I really, really appreciate it. I cherish and welcome all the support that you give me and I have been very blessed that I have people like you, my Patreons, and also just all of my viewers in general. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is really cool. So yeah, uh, the one question that I have for you is I am going to be using a few data packs here and I have in the past on the previous world used, I think, a tiny bit too much of changes on the data pack side that uh, it kind of maybe discouraged some people on playing here. So I want to keep it as vanilla -y as possible. I will be adding the Enderman griefing data pack, the multiplayer sleeping data pack, the mob head drops data pack, also the player heads data pack. So you can get player heads when you die in any shape, way or form. I hope that data pack works because I haven't tested it yet. I also want to add the shulkers dropping two shells and also the ender dragon dropping the elytra. Those are the base ones that I gonna want to go with. And my question is, would you be cool if, or would it be cool if I add extra data packs? For example, for gathering gravel, you could have silverfish drop gravel. That way the silverfish spawner gets a use. And also, for example, for get gathering sand, you can farm husks, for example, if they drop sand. You can do that with a data pack or with a changing of the loot table. So that I think would be interesting to do. I did a quite a bit of changes in the previous server. So I want to tone it down a little bit and there will be a poll on my community tab on my channel. If you want to see some data pack additions and which ones uh, you want, I will probably put maybe a straw poll or some sort of link somewhere and maybe get an extensive like data pack list of what we can add for changed recipes and stuff like that and that I think could be pretty cool. And with all my rambling being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed this little Fiki News episode. Uh, and I want to encourage you to go to twitch.tv slash FikiBreaker. Follow me there so you get notified of when I go live. And I'm live right now as this video is uploaded. And uh, I will be playing on this brand new world, getting started, getting some resources going so we can prepare for the first episode, which is going to go up tomorrow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hoping you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great one. Bye-bye.